everyone and welcome to the Art of Teaching Art. I'm Mrs Darby and today I'm going to show you how to put together a mind map for a GCSE project. So here are two different examples and I tend to go for a very simple kind of format for my mind maps and the examples that I show to the students. Usually title in the centre and then working in pencil to add the ideas around. Later on, I would support the students in actually putting some more ideas together and then maybe putting some images with it. But that's something to develop kind of after they've put together their initial ideas. So to start off with, thinking about the title, maybe sticking it on, maybe writing it out, and then having different areas of interest and building ideas from that. It looks much nicer if the page is nice and full at the end of that. I am starting a new project with my GCSE students for year 11 and the theme of that is going to be surroundings. So there's lots of different ideas to do with this that we are going to explore during this project. And so the first thing that I will get them to do is to make a mind map. And things that I like to include within a mind map, you've got the basic definition of the word. So we've got surroundings, we've got some definitions here. I've got some words that are related to surroundings as well. And I've broken down some main areas that I want to talk about. So I've got landscapes, architecture, people, maps and journeys, items around you and interiors. So these are the main areas that the students might wish to explore. So once I've got that information, I can put that, start to put that together on my mind map. So I'm going to do graphite transfer for the title for this page. So I've already drawn a line in the centre of the page. So this is eight centimetres up and I'm just going to line up the box and then just draw over it in a pen. Now you could do a more elaborate font than this. This is just another way of adding a title onto your page. So just finishing writing over the title to get that graphite transfer done and then just rubbing out the line underneath. So I'm ready to start off with my headings. So I'm spreading the six headings around the page to just make sure I've got enough space around them. And I'm adding a box at the bottom and in that box I'm going to put the definition of the word surroundings. It's just the dictionary definition that I got online. So just filling the rest of that in, that helps give me some ideas of what things I can be writing about as I move on with my mind map. Then starting with one topic at a time, so I'm starting with items and objects around you. So I'm thinking of things that I use every day, asking myself what words come to mind with each section and then moving on to landscapes and architecture and then making links between the different themes as well where there are overlaps like landmarks between landscapes and architecture. So I'm asking myself questions like if I was in a landscape outside what would I see? If I went to see some buildings what would I see there to help me come up with some extra ideas? and then thinking about things more personal to me as well. So just coming to the end of the last theme, and now I'm just adding some of the keywords that I mentioned earlier that link to some of the themes and just adding any final details. So I'm starting to add some questions that I'm having myself about the theme as well. It's really nice to ask some questions about the theme because that's something that you can work on and discover the answers for during the project. So just finishing off with a mechanical pencil, just writing the last few things and filling in those last few details there as well. So here we've got my initial ideas. There are a few more detailed areas. The next step will be to explore some artists and techniques related to each of these areas, maybe take some photographs. And then I'm going to ask the students to pick uh, one or two areas to focus on and we will do a second mind map which will have a lot more detail in it being more specific about types of places or items or linking to photographs maybe we'll include some images in that one thank you so much for watching and have a really great day